by Euronews with app Ukrainian drones hit Kursk while pushing Moscow local officials said that Ukrainian forces targeted Russia's Kursk region with two drones in the early hours of Friday and damaging local authorities, housing and administrative buildings. Roman Starovoid, the governor of the region, wrote on Telegram, and two buildings still evaluated by emergency services were damaged. Mayor of the capital Sergei Sabayanin. Russian forces fell into Moscow on Friday morning. Another drone fell. He said. The drone was shot only 20 kilometers southeast the center of Moscow. And wrote on Telegram without any more details the Sobian. According to the news agency TASS. Operated by the Russian state. It was forced to replan and cancel flights after an unidentified flying object of Moscow's three. Major airports were identified by air defenses. British defense firm will accelerate the arms supply to Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky met with Charles Woodburn, general manager of company on Thursday to iron the details of new agreement. Ukraine's UAE produced by the UAE artillery L-119 and M777 systems and armored vehicle Solid 10590 can distribute. He said, the UAE made a great contribution to Britain's defense materials to Kiev after the occupation began in February 2022. With value. Europe's largest defense contractor operating in more than 40 countries around the world. However, despite Zelensky's allegations that Kiev negotiated to do so, the defense company has not yet decided to establish a physical office in Ukraine. Unhappy with Russia Black Sea Grain deal offer Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on Thursday that Russia's West wanted United Nations Chief of the United Nations to follow a list of actions in addition to new Black Sea serial proposal. The Unsecretary General Antonio Guterres sent a new letter Lavrov, hoping to revive agreement that lifted the Russian blockade and allowed Ukraine send approximately 33,000 tons of grain during global hunger-raising period. However, Moscow was not satisfied the letter. Lavrov implied with a meeting Turkey Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan, who helped the country, when talks turn into concrete decisions. We will be ready to continue Ukrainian part of cereal package on same day. Lavrov said. Fidan. Erdogan Putin from Turkey which describes the serial agreement as a very complex and laborious job, said they will receive a more strategic political opinion. Guterres told UN correspondent a letter to Lavrov with a series concrete proposals that allow creation of conditions for the Renewal Black Sea Initiative. The United Nations and Turkey launched an agreement in July 2022 allowing Ukraine to send cereals and other foodstuffs from three Black Sea port. After start of occupation between UN and Russia, he promised to overcome obstacles to Moscow's world markets. Russia suspended the Black Sea cereal initiative in July and repeatedly claimed Ukraine, claiming that it supported its rich, 